Everyone's chasing the fancy bestseller badge when they first publish their book on KDP, but it's actually not going to help you out. It's not going to save your book. It might give you a couple more sales, but it's not actually going to help you grow as much as you think it is. In fact, it might actually do the opposite. It might decrease your growth and you might even sell less copies because of it. And I'm going to show you why now. So why does everyone chase the bestseller badge? What's the whole point of the badge and why is it so powerful? Well, if you have a bestseller badge, then people are more likely to buy your book. But guess how much more likely they are to buy? So we know that conversion rate is super, super important. When you have A plus content, that can give you a 10% conversion rate boost, which means if 100 people click on your book, then 10 extra people buy because 10% of 100 is 10. So if your conversion rate is 10% and then you add A plus content, that increases your conversion rate by 10%. Your final conversion rate is 20%, which means for every 100 clicks you get, 20 people buy. 20% of the clicks become sales. So what if you add a bestseller badge? What's the conversion rate for a bestseller badge? I'm going to let you take a guess. Do you think it increases by 10%? Do you think it increases by 5%, 3%, 1% or 0.5%? Pick one before I reveal it to you so we can see if you were correct. Now, A plus content gives you an average of a 10%, but the bestseller badge doesn't. So it's not 10%. So we're stuck between one of these four. Which one do you think it is? If you said 5%, that's still too much. It's not actually 5%. So we're stuck between 3%, 1% or half a percent. Well, I'm going to take away one more. Which one of these three do you think is the conversion rate boost that you get for a bestseller badge? Well, it's not 1%. Now, if you're thinking, oh there's no way it's half a percent you're completely right because it's not half percent in fact the bestseller badge gives you a three percent conversion rate boost which means if you have a 20 percent conversion rate so 100 people click on your book and then 20 people buy if you have the bestseller badge on top of this you have a 23 percent conversion rate which means 100 people click on your book and 23 people buy so you just get three extra sales for every 100 clicks because you have a bestseller badge now three extra sales sounds amazing but how do you actually get the bestseller badge in order to achieve achieve the extra 3% conversion rate boost. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that right now. So in order for you to be a bestseller, you need to be a bestseller in a category. So you might have a category where it's dogs. Now let's pick a better category. Let's go for alien coloring book. Maybe we have alien coloring books as a category. This isn't an actual category on Amazon. This doesn't exist on Amazon. I don't think so anyway, but let's just pretend that it does. So we put our book in the alien coloring book category. In that category, you might have 10 different books. Obviously it's, it's a lot more than 10. It's more like 50 or 100, whatever. Each category is different. But let's say there's five books and each one of these books has an ABSR number based on the amount of sales that they're making. So this one might have a thousand. This one might be on 3K, 15K. This one could be 300K and this one can be a million. So obviously a million means he's not selling anything. 15K means he's selling pretty good. That's selling pretty good and that's selling amazingly well. So if each category has a bestseller badge, then this guy who's selling the most is going to have the bestseller badge for the category Alien Coloring Book. So Amazon's going to say this is a bestseller in the category alien coloring book so if you want to steal the bestseller badge you need to put your book in this category and then also have a lower absr number than this guy who's in the category so if you have 999 as your absr number and this guy's on a thousand because you're selling more than him you get the bestseller badge for yourself now this is something i used to do until i realized that it was completely wrong and i'm going to show you why now so when you publish a brand new book you're going to put it in a category we'll put cat cat means category so you publish your brand new book and Amazon doesn't really know what it is because it's brand new. You put it in the category and then in that category, there's going to be other books. So these are the other books in the category. Now, each one of these books, if you understand how indexing works, each one of these books is indexed for some keywords. So keyword one, keyword two, keyword three, keyword four, keyword five. And the same applies for each one of these books. They're all indexed for a bunch of keywords. Now, what Amazon does when a bunch of books are in a category is it goes inside and sees which one of these keywords is common between all of them. So if our category is alien coloring book. I know that's not the best handwriting, but it doesn't matter. Alien coloring book. And this keyword here is alien coloring book. This keyword here is alien coloring book for this book. This one's alien coloring book for this book. And this one's alien coloring book for this book. And this one's alien coloring book for this book. If they all have alien coloring book in common between them, then Amazon is going to say, okay, these are alien coloring books. First of all, because they have the keywords associated with the books and also because they're placed in this category. So any book that's placed in this category will start getting indexed for the keyword alien coloring book because that's how Amazon is going to expand their reach but here's what I used to do and what a lot of people are still doing to this day and it's completely wrong if you still want to do it that's okay I'm not here to tell you how to live your life but it's just I don't do it anymore and this is why because if I have a book and let's say this is a dog coloring book and I put my dog coloring book in the alien coloring book category just because this guy might have a 100k ABSR and I might have a 50k BSR so as soon as I put my dog coloring book in the alien coloring book category I get a bestseller badge 
and I get that 3% conversion rate increase. But as soon as I put my dog coloring book in the alien coloring book category, guess which keywords my book is going to get indexed for? You're exactly right, the alien coloring book keywords. Now, do I want my dog coloring book to get indexed for alien coloring book? It wouldn't be a very wise choice because someone looking for an alien coloring book is probably not going to buy a dog coloring book. So that's going to give me a low conversion rate for those keywords. And what happens when you have a low conversion rate for the keywords that you give Amazon, that you tell Amazon that your book is about? Well, Amazon starts to push you lower and lower down the rankings, down the search results. And Amazon starts to associate your book with a low conversion rate and won't expand your reach. So a bunch of people are going to type in alien coloring book and they're going to see my book with a bestseller badge, but they're going to say it's a dog coloring book. It's not even an alien coloring book. So because it's not what they're looking for, not what they want to buy, I'm going to have a low conversion rate for that. So not only am I having a low conversion rate for the category that I put it in because I want the fancy orange bestseller badge, I also limit my book and it might not show up for the appropriate keywords that I want it to show up for because I could have put this book in the correct category and then that correct category will find books with correct keywords to associate my new book with. So if I put it in the dog coloring book category, then it's going to find the dog coloring book keywords associated with the books and show those keywords for my brand new book. And if it does that, then my reach expands. And if my reach expands, my book can grow. Now, I'm not saying the bestseller badge is bad. I'm saying it's better to get a bestseller badge that's in the correct category for your book. Personally, I wouldn't have a coloring book in a category for violin just to get a bestseller badge. So when you're thinking of putting your brand new book in a completely irrelevant category just to get a bestseller badge, I think you should consider, would you rather have a 3% conversion rate boost or would you rather expand your indexing for more appropriate relevant keywords? This is a business decision that you're going to have to make and it all depends on how long term or short term you're thinking. If you're a short term thinker, then you're probably going to go for the 3% conversion rate because you don't really care what happens six months or 12 months from now. Now, if you're publishing for the long term and you want your book to succeed long term and bring you more money every single month, then you're probably going to go for categories that are super relevant for your book. So you can expand in the correct areas and just get more sales overall and more sales, more profit and everything just starts to snowball and work together. And long term, always be short term. So if you are chasing a bestseller badge, then I would recommend you chase it for the correct category for your book. Now, if you found this video helpful, a video just popped up right here, somewhere right here. Just click on it. It's a playlist. There's a bunch of videos. Go watch them. It's going to help you make a bunch more money on KDP. And if you want to learn all the secrets as fast as possible, just go in the description. You're going to figure out how to do that.